Building on the binary concepts we learned from the previous two video, we're going to go into the process of turning that abstract idea of the binary system into its real physical counterpart. You'll find a link to the PowerPoint slide presented in this video in the description. Step-by-step -step guide to how a full adder is built and how machine add binary. There are prerequisites before we could go into that actual process. And that prerequisites is that to understand how full adder is made, you need to understand logical gate and the truth table. We already covered the binary system, but we have not yet covered how to add in binary or how to add binary digits. I want to share this great software called Multimedia Logic. And you can find a link to download this software at the end of the PowerPoint. And what is a multimedia logic is it's a program that simulates electrical circuit. You use this program as if it was a, a circuit board and you add electronic parts to it, including wires, switches, gates, on off switch. And right here, it's a full adder with one column. And if I was to run this program, and let's say I turn on the switch, you have one light up here. I turn it off and I turn on this switch, you still have one. One switch that is on represents one. Now when you have two switch turn on, it represents two. One light should glow, but it's in the two to the first power precision. And if you were to have all three switch on, you will would have three a representation of the digit three now going back to our lessons let's first start out with learning what is a logical gate and truth table the wikipedia for logic gate i highly recommend that you spend some time to re familiarize yourself with what is a logic gate and if you were to scroll down the most important thing is this chart and this chart lets you know the type of the truth table the symbol that represents the logic gate and the table itself you have your and or not not and or nan not or and it's, it's a not gate exclusive not or what is a truth table you ask the truth table, in my own opinion, shows the outcome when you do a certain operation with two inputs. Now there are at least two symbols in a truth table, A and B. And the A represents one type of input and B represents a second type of input. Now the zero and one represent the state of that input. So what you do in the table, in the input section of the table, under the first input, you list the states that it could be in. A could be in a false state or off, false or on, on. Two false and two true. Now in the B also contains uh, two false and two true statements. The key to assigning the false and true sequence within the input column is that you want to make sure that the a b combination is unique you have zero zero or zero one you could have one zero or one one and you notice all four is a unique combination and there are only possible of four different combination when you're using 0 and 1 or false and true. So what happened if A was false and B was false? Well without this AND, see this AND represents an operation. Without an operation that you want to carry out between those two input, there's no meaning to it. I mean what is false and false? So what you do for our first example we're going to use AND. So you want to make sure what is the result of having input A and input B. So when you have something that's false and something that is false, you have it's false. It cannot be true. 
the second one you have a as false b that is true so it's a false and b true is that the same I mean it's a the same as b in other word no so zero means false you cannot have false and the truth and make it a truth it has so that's not true now the third row a is true b is false is both of them the same think and as being the same is it the same false zero and lastly you have a which is true and b which is true so you have a true and a true well, both are the same so the answer would be true now if you were to use binary term on and off it would make sense using truth table so if a is off and b is off and you want both of them it will be off if a was off and b was on well only one of its on but you want both to be true or on see zero could be false one could be on so zero a is false or off b is true or on and you want both of them to be on that is not true so it's it's zero it's false now a is on b is off but you want both of them on so that's not true so zero means false now a is on and b is on now that both of them is on then that condition the and condition where both is on is true so you have one so this truth table for the and represents all the states that's possible between two inputs now let's change this to an or first row a is off b is off both states is off it's always of course going to be off now you have a is off but b is on and or it's you want one or the other so since there is at least one input that's on then this statement is true or on so the statement a or b would be one or true next a is one means true or on b is zero false or off and you want at least one a or b to be on so that statement is true but lastly you have both a and b is true and since you want one or the other that is true also one last example we're going to do exclusive or a exclusive or delete this zero false and false or off off always be off zero and one so one state is off the other state is on and you want exclusive or it has to be one or the other only so that is true now the next statement a is true b is false and you want exclusive or so one is on b is off so it's true the last statement both a and b is on but our condition asks for exclusive or only so it's one or the other only because both is on instead of just one this statement here is false now you should go and try the rest for yourself not and not or exclusive we done exclusive or uh, exclusive not or and not and once you have a fairly good understanding of logical gate and truth table you can go to the next prerequisites and that is adding binary at this point we're going to stop the video here in the next video we're going to detour from this PowerPoint and learn how to add binary numbers and once we have a very good understanding of how to add in binary we're gonna go back to this PowerPoint and start the process of transforming an abstract idea into its physical counterpart